When she first called the medical examiner, she was relieved to hear that Ryan wasn't there. Turns out his body was the entire time. CBS 8 had a chance to sit down with Renee to hear more about what exactly happened and the changes the county says it's making because of this case. He was a poet and he was an artist and he was a surfer and he was a skateboarder and he just, he lived those passions. It's therapeutic for Renee Lim to talk about her son, Ryan. She says the 19 year old had an infectious energy and an enthusiasm for life. He also had his struggles. The Northern California native was in San Diego in the fall of 2022 in an addiction recovery program. He worked hard um, dealing with his own struggles and he made so many steps forward. Then on November 7th of 2022, Renee believes Ryan got involved with the wrong crowd and was given a substance laced with a deadly dose of fentanyl. His body with no ID on him was found downtown San Diego. I was texting with him that day and he actually, within a few hours of when I was texting him is when he passed. But Renee had no idea. She didn't hear from Ryan and immediately filed a missing persons report. Posters were put up across the city. Many people reported seeing him, but they were wrong. Having called the medical examiners and then telling me, no, your son is not here. It just, it gave me this hope that he was okay. So Renee's desperate search continued for five months until April of 2023, when Renee was tipped off that photos of Ryan's tattoos and other identifying marks showed up in the NamUs database of those who were deceased and unidentified. That's when Renee called the Emmy's office again, only to find out that her son's body had been there the entire time. How could you have my son there all this time? And, and nobody cared enough to try to figure out who he was. Renee filed a claim against the county. It was settled and she received $700,000. She's now using that money to set up a foundation in Ryan's name. The goal is to warn young people about the danger of fentanyl. Meanwhile, she's hoping the settlement means major changes at the medical examiner's office, so no other family has to go through this. If this makes the people on the other end put a little more thought and process into what they're doing, then it's, it's worth it. So we reached out to the medical examiner's office who told us that currently there are 43 bodies there who have not mm. been identified. They do have new protocol now. They now list any identifying details about a person in that NamUs database early in the process instead of at the end. Well, the county did meet with Renee, but neither side revealed any details about that conversation.